12 are going to go down in history as the people that brought freedom back from the brink just as the light was going out. And way, way into what we call the future. There will be children living in a world of freedom, fairness, justice, joy, and love. And they will sit in enraptured attention as the storytellers recall those special people way back in the ancient 2020s who secured freedom on this planet for perpetuity. They will recall how those millions and billions meekly capitulated to this lie, went under house arrest, kept apart from each other, took their face nappies on, and allowed their children to go to school and have those face nappies on, destroying their health day after day, hour after hour. They will recall how all look lost. The demons seem to have all the aces. But then, but then, a special people began to stir and awaken. A special people began to sing. In those early days, in the spring of 2020, it was a depressing effort to get people to come out and resist and push back. But some did. The lies and deceit of government, the lies and deceit of the laughingly referred to health profession, began to become more and more obvious. And more and more people started to stir, to awaken, to see. Along came tens of thousands in Trafalgar Square, tens of thousands more a few weeks later. And other people were stirring and awakening from the slumber, the COVID coma all over the world. And then, in the spring of 2021, the waters broke and the multitudes arrived on the streets of London. And with it, they brought an incredible revelation that there are more of us than there are of them. Taken the streets, arrest them, destroy them, and the yellow shirts came back. Madam, there's too many of the buggers, there's nothing we can do. They have convinced us through the generations of humankind that authority has power. Authority has no power. We see the apparent power of authority coming on us. We don't see that that power in the first part of the feedback loop was what we gave away. We take that power back or cease to give it away and this house of cards is no more because that's all it is it's a country it's a psychological trick to get us to believe that authority has power look at him look at matt hancock the very definition of a brat look at johnson a disabled man look at Ricky. he have a smile on his crack his face 
are we are allowing these powerless men to tell us what we are going to do? They are going to tell us what we put on our face? Are you bloody kidding? And so, in the months and the two, three years ahead, they are going to invoke an onslaught upon us, an onslaught upon those who are awakening, those who can sin. And they are going to try to destroy our spirit by making it impossible, they think, to work, to do anything that we call human life. We're going to see the variants of the variant, variant, variants of the variant, 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 variant. And it's already happening. We are going to be blamed for what is the vaccination, fake vaccinations responsibility. They're already doing it. It's a pandemic of the unvaccinated. No. It's a pandemic of the folk vaccinated, and we must stay strong. This is not a time for us to hide. It's a time to stiffen the backbone and to reach a point of mental strength where we will not capitulate a inch to these people. No! No acquiescence to tyranny because it's a simple fact that fascism is never imposed by fascists. There's never enough of them. Fascism is imposed by the population acquiescing to fascism. That's how it comes in. This is a time when we no longer think of consequences for doing what we know to be right. We just do it. On the other side of this onslaught to which we will not bow will lie that sunny sky and that, that song of the lark, as will be recalled by the storytellers of how a special people came together with stiff backbones and open hearts and refused to bow to tyranny.